Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this new video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem, find common nodes in two BSTs. And it's an easy question to be honest. And that's the tag of the question as well. And this is the problem of the day on Geeks for Geeks. And the company tags are Amazon. And uh, so this is the question given to binary search trees, find the nodes that are common in both of them. That is find the intersection of the two BSTs. So that is the question. And like if you find something common in BST1, BST2, the nodes, then you uh, store them in a vector and return that. That's it. So return the common nodes in sorted order. So people will be like uh, traversing and uh, so it's very obvious. Uh, let us uh, discuss that approach uh, later. We, this is the question. So example 1, 0, 1, 4, 5, 10, 7, 9. And we have these things. And what, are the, what is the output? 4, 7, 9, 10. The reason being 4 is there in the BST1 as well as BST2. 7 is there in BST1 as well as 7 is there in BST2. 9 is there in both BST1 and BST2. And 10 is also there in BST1 and BST2. So that is the reason we are returning 4, 7, 9, 10 because we, are, we need to return it in a sorted order. So 4, 7, 9, 10 increasing order. Similar is the case here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 repeating. So that's the reason that is the output. And you do not need to. So these are all uh, basic things. All right. So uh, what is the approach? So it's pretty clear, pretty clear that you need to traverse BST1 or BST2 and then compare that nodes that you have seen with the other BST. So for example, uh, let us let us assume that I am first traversing, traversing BST1. Okay. I am first doing this. This is my first task. Let's, let us assume this is my first task. All right. This is my first task. So if I am traversing BST1 and then I need to traverse BST2, traverse BST2 and check and check for nodes repeat that are repeating. Okay. That are repeating. Okay. That are repeating. What do I mean by repeating? So I'll be storing the nodes that I've visited in BST1 and I'll be checking uh, when I traverse in BST2. If I find, if it's like, did I find the same node in the before traverse it? If yes, then I'll be storing it in the, uh, you know, vector. So this is the second task. All right. Second task. And uh, yeah. And what is the other thing that we need to do? Whatever things that, whatever vector that we have got, we need to sort the vector. We need to sort the vector. So this is the third task. This is the third task. So we will eliminate this. We will eliminate this third task. Okay. We will not be sorting that vector once again. So how do we do that? Uh, how do we do this? With the help of the property of property of BST. Okay. Property of BST. With the help of property of BST, we will skip this. We will skip this. Okay. Skip skip the third task. So we will not be sorting it automatically the vector that we are going to uh, give the output uh, that would be already sorted because of the traversal that we'll be doing uh, that with the help of property of BST. All right. So what is BST? You would have already known. Take any particular node, take any particular node to the left of it, to the left of it, all the node values would be less than five and to the right of it, all the nodes would be greater than five. Okay. So uh, left of five, left of five, all the node values will be less than 5 and to the right of 5, right of 5, all the nodes will be greater than 5. Similar is the case that applies on 1, on 10, on 7, on 4, on 0, on 9, each and every node. That is the BST. That's it. So that is the binary search tree. All right. So we have got an idea. So how do we do it? So traversing BST1, first task. So and storing the nodes. So the best uh, data structure is unordered map. Okay. Unordered map. Why unordered map? So once I store the uh, nodes in the unordered map, the nodes value in the unordered map and the uh, corresponding frequencies. And then when I traverse in BST2, I'll be just checking. Do I have the same uh, element found like uh, in the unordered map? In, uh, then if I can say that, yes, this node, that particular node is repeating. So uh, once we do the traversal on here, let us dry run here. Okay. Once we do the traversal after the end, after the traversal, after the traversal, after the traversal, the uh, unordered map status would be like 5 comma 1 and uh, 1 comma 1, 0 comma 4 and 4 comma, uh, okay, sorry, what am I doing? Uh, 0 comma 1 and 4 comma 1 and 10 comma 1, 7 comma 1, 
9 comma 1. So these are the key value pairs. So this is key and that's corresponding value. Value in the sense how many times it repeating. After the travel, so this is the status. And once you start the travel here, you can see that 10 has already been, uh, 10 is already there in the our unordered map. So I'll be checking, like, do I find uh, 10 in my unordered map? Yes, I do find. So I have the 10 comma 1. So that is the reason this is repeating. So I'll be taking it. So I'll be checking 7 comma 7. So it's not there. So uh, is, there is nothing like this is the occurrence of uh, 7 comma 0. This is the status on uh, uh, unordered map. So I'll not be taking it. So 20 comma 0. This would be the status in the unordered map. So I'll not be taking it. 4 comma 1. Yes, I have I found 4 comma 1. So I'll be taking it. So in same is the case 9 comma 1. Yes, I'll be taking it. Did we miss something here? Uh, 4, 7, 9, 10, 4, 7. Yes, we have 7. Sorry, sorry. We have 7. So we'll be taking it. We will be taking it. We'll be taking the 7 as well. So 4, 7, 9, 10. So these are the things. So 4, 7, uh, 9, 10. So these four have already found in the alternate map. So we'll be taking it. That's it. Now, how are we going to skip the sort? So, how are we going to skip the sort? Sort. So, what is the BST? BST, as we are, I've, I've just told the property of BST, all the values to the left of a particular node will be less than that. So, we'll be first going to this particular thing. We'll be just, we'll be first comparing this value. All right. We'll just go to this particular lower value and then we'll compare. Do I find 4 in my unordered bar? Yes, I find. Then I'll be pushing this into the vector. And then I'll come to this 7. Then I'll compare. Do I find 7 in my unordered map? Yes, I'll be pushing that. Then I'll be going to the right side. Then I'll be find, say, seeing if uh, checking if 9 is there in my unordered map. Yes, I do have. So I'll also putting I'll also be putting it. And then I'll be coming to 10. And then 20 and then it's to its left. So this is how I'll be going. So I'm doing it in order traversal in a binary search tree. When you do an in order traversal, you first go to the left. What is the in order traversal? In order traversal, in order traversal, what's the format? So left, left root data okay left root data root or root and right okay left root and right so bst this follows the increasing order this follows the increasing order right so in a bst this follows the increasing order left would be less and then root and and right value so in this fashion we are putting the lower values first to the uh, vector and then we are going to the higher values so here indeed we are actually uh, you know going in a sorted fashion instead of actually sorting the vector so that is the funda that is the logic here so this is the thing first we have got an unordered map and then we have traversed in the function by using the function root one nodes mp of root one so this is the traversal so if root one equal to none we'll return and then uh, we are storing the data corresponding uh, like uh, its value in the map and then we are going to the left and we're going to the right it doesn't matter we are just doing the traversal either you can go to right and left here it doesn't not matter because you're just trying to store the values of the uh, root one i mean uh, the first bst and then you have taken a vector answer and then you're traversing it in the root two nodes using a function root two nodes on the second bind research uh, tree so if root 2 equal to none written and root 2 nodes first we are going to the left okay in this fashion we can uh, get left this is the left this is the root this is the right okay so we are first doing left we are first doing left and then root and then right so this goes in an increasing fashion right left the data would be lesser than root and uh, so left is less than root less than right so we are using the property this is the property of a binary search tree so we are making the use of it so we'll go to the left and then we'll compare okay and then we'll come back if it's like do i find the root 2 data in my map yes i find uh, that then i'll be pushing that in my answer and then i'll be going to the right side so this is how i'll be doing the traversal that's it so in this fashion we are actually doing the sorted we are actually pushing the uh, values in a sorted fashion instead of uh, you know uh, uh, sorting it once again so once after this function i'll be returning the answer so that's it so we can even uh, uh, like yeah we have already done the dry run so i hope you people understood what is our approach simple approach using the properties of bst we are exempting the sort and that's it and what is the time complexity time complexity is o of n1 plus n2 where n1 plus n1 is the number of number of okay let me write it properly number of nodes in bst1 bst1 and this is number of nodes number of nodes in bst2 all right and uh, space complexity that is o of h1 plus h2 and why is this so because this is an in order traversal okay and this is height height of uh, bst1 and this is height height of bst2 that's it. so that simple is this question and we can even submit the code and check for your reference and uh, let me see if it's running um, 
okay yeah it got successfully evaluated uh, so and also for your reference all the codes in c++ java and python separate links of those have been attested in the description you can even find that out i went to the link to this problem has also been there in the description you can just check it out so thank you uh, for watching this video stay tuned